So NAD or, or what we see as NAD plus um, has been talked about a lot lately. It's been around for a long time, but it's actually becoming more and more popular. And the term NAD is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And it's a coenzyme that is required by all our cells. So in your cell, you have little mitochondria, which you can think of as little power plants or ener energy creators. And for them to create the energy that they create, they need NAD. And what happens over time is NAD will go down. It can go down from drugs, alcohol, medications that you take, age is a huge one, illness, stress. So those are things that will knock down NAD levels, which then essentially means you won't produce as much energy. What we're finding is that if you supplement with NAD, you essentially tell the cells to stay young, don't die. So its anti-aging properties are huge and well studied. And then it even shows that it causes some improvement in neurocognitive function or clarity. So people that use it will feel like they're clearer thinking and definitely over time believe that maybe it actually may help with neurocognitive decline or kind of decline with your clarity. The other thing that it's starting to be used for too is athletic performance. So there are athletes that we use it on who will take it before an event within a day or so, and it seems as though it improves performance, stamina, uh, endurance. So those are kind of three big areas. We're also starting to see a little bit of use of it for anxiety and depression and have a few clients using it for that. But long story short, think about it as my NAD levels go down as I get older or as I do some of those things we talked about, and we can supplement that and get those little energy machines working.